Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In the previous video, we have learned how to install CodeSys. Today and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new project in the CodeSys and how to add a visualization. During this, you will also learn some basics of CodeSys that will be useful for the next tutorials. Let's open the codices, double click on the icon. This window will be open. Under the basic operations and with the new project, you can create a new project or you can use file and new project. With second one, you can open the project which is a uh, which is already in your system. You can do it also from file. And next, if we have a PLC and there is a program inside it, we can download this program from the PLC. Here you will see the projects that you have created or opened them recently. This is the first time we open the codices and therefore we don't have any project here. Let's create our first project. For now, select standard project. Here we need to determine the name of our project. And here is the path which we save the project. Hit OK. Next step, we need to determine the hardware that we want to use and the programming language. By default, a list of target devices is created during the codices installation. I will explain all these devices in the future tutorials in detail. If you want to work only in the simulation, then it doesn't matter which device you select. But if you are working with any device, you have to determine it here. The target device has been installed on your PC with the name Codices Control Windows V3. That means you can use your PC for development uh, for your application. Select it. If your Windows is 32-bit, uh, you need to select this one. My Windows is 64-bit. Um, Second one asks you to select programming language. I select ladder logic diagram. Hit OK. As you see, a uh, tree uh, menu appears in the left panel. This is so-called device tree. The first level node represents the device that we have selected in previous step. As we will see in the future, other devices can be attached to this. The PLC um, logic object is another symbolic node, automatically created for programming device. Next object represents an application in our project. There may be more than one uh, application belonging uh, to the same project. The library manager contains a list of the needed library for a given application. Some of them are added by default based on the selected target device. The main part that we need to open it is here, PLC program. You will see the program editing window where you can write and edit your PLC program. The task configuration is dedicated to the creation and configuration of the tasks. As shown in our example, a task called main task is automatically created with the project. Next to the device tree view, we also have the POUs view. POU is programming organization unit. This view is intended for containing objects that can be used throughout the project. 
Okay, let's talk about main part of codices. Since I have selected ladder logic as the programming language, the elements for this language are available here. You can select them and insert to the project. On the right side, the toolbox will give us as well our operations, including ladder elements. Hit the plus sign next to ladder elements. You can see we have calls, contacts, timer, counters, and other uh, other ladder logic tools. Here you see the variable declaration area. We have to declare the variables that we are uh, going to use in our program. We can start by declaring the variables and then using them in the program or you can start writing the program and whenever needed you will declare it for example our define variable starts with the uh, with the type boolean i'm going to create a very simple project i want to turn on and off an output with a push button Insert a normally open contact. You can insert it with click on contact icon or drag and drop in this green box. I want to use my variable that I have already defined. Click on here and from variable select start. I add a normally close contact. This time I want to declare the variable here. Click on three question marks and write a name for the contact, then press enter. You see this window in which we have to declare the variable that we are going to use. The name of the variables and the type of variable which is boolean, but you can have different kind of variables. Then we can initialize the variable within this uh, object. It's by default false, but we can initialize, uh, initialize it to true. And the address we don't care now because we are working with the simulation. And here you can write some comments. Now we can see that a uh, boolean variables is uh, added to our list. I insert a call as output and declare it. Okay, simple program is ready. Next, we need to compile the program to see whether there is any error or not. To do that, you can press F11 on your keyboard or use inbuilt generate code. You can see here that there is no error. Let's simulate our program. Go to online menu, select simulation. We can see in the bottom right corner that simulation is turned uh, red now. Then we need to download the program by pressing login. You can also find it here in online. It is going to find the control V3. Hit yes. So right now on the bottom we are uh, stopped and still in simulation mode. Let's run the program. To start the simulation, click on the start sign here. Now we are in run mode. We can see a list of relationships between variables and expressions here. We can change or write and force the value of our variables. Click here. Each time you click, you will see the uh, available values that we can use. We can set it true, false or don't change. For example, I want to change the start to true. Select true and then from debug select right. Or press control uh, with 
F7 on your keyboard. You see start is now activated or we can say it has a uh, logic true. Whenever the value uh, for um, boolean variable is true, it's highlighted with blue and whenever it, uh, it is false, there is no highlighting. You can also force your variables to do that. Select your variable and after selecting your value, select from a debug force value or press F7. There is a little F near the value. It means we have forced our value. With Alt uh, and F7, you can unforce the value. Now the value is uh, changed and there isn't any force sign near the value. If you want to see your program in other programming language, go to um, menu and from FBD, LDIL, view and select your language. Now you see the program with function block diagram. Okay, let's talk about visualization. That's like a graphical interface that we can use. Right click on application and then from at object select visualization. Click on add. You can see in device tree uh, visualization manager is added. Open visualization uh, in the right side click on visualization toolbox. You will see all the elements for visualization. I insert uh, one switch for start and stop and pilot lamp for output. As a variable of the switch, double click here, then click on little box here. You need to determine the variable by clicking on the application, PSC program and start variable. Insert the stop button. Then go to the toolbox and select pilot lamp. Again for the variable assigning the output. Now visualization is complete login and run the program it will download the program into the simulation one of the things uh, we can do here which can make it much easier to see right click on the tab bar then click on new vertical tab or horizontal tab. This allows us to look at the visualization and our code together. With changing the value of switch, the pilot lamp will be on or off. You can log out of your device and uncheck simulation. Now you can be go back and add more to your program. Thank you for watching this video. In the next videos we will have more tutorials for codices.